One thing is always make sure you never breathe on a person's face when you're massaging them, especially a deep breath, because it's important that we deep breathe during a treatment, but we don't want to deep breathe on the person, so. <clears throat> I, I reserve my garlic for after I'm done too. Yeah, if I would have ate garlic, I definitely would have passed gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's so embarrassing. I got enough shit going on. <laughs> that's that's one of the uh, one of the uh, things of the job is like you know, yeah. people are gonna pass gas. That's it. Especially when you yeah, start doing the deep cool. abdominal massage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay so I'm just starting off. I'm working. Like in shiatsu, the acupressure meridians continue, like like where we got the bands, like the big toe, belly band, the big toe, sacrum band, energetically, they would continue. So you've grounded and you've connected and you're in your zone. Mm -hmm. Okay. <sighs> Although I'm still sort of taking a few deep breaths just to kind of like get myself more and more centered, you know? And let her it's kind of like a the, the head massage is a little bit of a connection thing as well you know and i like to feel across the top of the shoulders and then i like to come into here sorry if my fingers are cold feels good good Pay attention while receiving. Yeah. So, what I'm doing here is not just working on the eyebrow, but there's a little tiny band in here. And this area is very, very important because obviously in Ayurvedic medicine, they call this the, the third eye chakra. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it holds a lot of stress. Like you can see it on people. When you look at people's faces, they'll have lines here sometimes one line, two lines, three lines. And it's also deeply connected with the big toe belly band. And so this is a really good area to release before we release like a rock in the belly. Okay. You know? But in general, it's just really nice. It calms, I, I equate this area in particular here with intellectual thinking. So um, analytical thinking, um, so the more tight it is, the more the person's kind of analyzing life or, you know, whatever with their mind, rather than if it's nice and relaxed, they're just kind of perceiving things just as they are. They're just more like, what is, you know? Um, and so it, this actually helps the person by relaxing this area, it helps the person kind of go into a more meditative state, like a deeper brainwave. Like. So you're always holding that point you're always holding like a, a like a, a ground point when you're doing that and then moving and down then the moving yeah, yeah like a band so yeah. where what are you doing here so here. there's a can you feel that spot yeah i can I feel that yeah. so uh -huh. what are you doing with the, the other hand with, so i got this hand which is my, my right yeah is, is kind of stretching that opening okay. that up and then the other one's my left finger in the index finger is following that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. I just was, so you're just like kind of stretching that. Yeah. Enjoy. Um, you watch on some video. Yeah. And I you know. can watch. And well, you can watch the but video. I can, but I can actually like really feel it. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting. Right. I'll try and you can it. feel it coming all like into your jaw tension oh, here. Yeah. yeah. There's quite a bit of that. I'm There's a, a lot a, on that I'm side. I'm a grinder. Yeah. Well, wait till you feel the other side. Yeah. I'm not even right now. I, uh, I'm a cruncher. Holding in? Just like a, a you know, teeth cruncher. Yeah. I don't know why. It's Often, a, uh, according to Louise Hay, it can relate to repressed anger and uh, not speaking your mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I have... I have definitely tried to not speak my mind a lot in mm. the last four years. Why I don't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you got a, an you internal that? sensor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, I have to yeah. do that too. <laughs> Self preservation. Yeah. 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 Are you on the temples? 
So not quite. The temples are more here. I don't actually work on the temples. This is above the ears and there's like, do you want to have a quick feel here so you can feel what I'm, I'm kind of working over. Like there's like, like bumps and things. So it's right in. She's got the ear. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep, that None of that should be there, by the way. No, it shouldn't be. And it's very much connected with the jaw tension as well. So I like to just, it gives me a good analysis of what's going on. The more these kind of become tight, the more likely a person is to get headaches on the side here. Um, and that's coming from the thumbs. That's why in acupuncture and acupressure, that large intestine four point in here is actually used for headaches. So... Luckily, so I know, even with all this clear. tension, luckily, hey. I do not get headaches. Yeah. Very rarely. I think it's because I'm pretty hydrated. This one, I'm actually kind of projecting like a kind of chi field here. I call this the hot iron rod through the head. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> I can really feel that, too. Yeah. Like the imagery of that. Mm. And it breaks up tension right in the middle of the brain. So yeah, like like you're imagining like the yeah, like going through, mm -hmm. coming through. Like if you've ever oh, done chi going, yeah. You're moving it, okay. Open. Good morning. Right. Then I'm gonna work on her ears. So obviously, I always check her ear rings. You know, you don't want to. But squeezing the ears are an often neglected area. But there's a whole thing of ear reflexology, and it's a fascinating, you know. I just basically squeeze and pull the ears. And then coming back into the scalp here. And I'm just, I'm holding the scalp against the skull and shaking it. And then coming back to this, just gently applying pressure. Yeah, it's just opening that area. Um, coming back to these points. So I don't have um, like a routine that I do. I have a bunch of different techniques that I like to apply, and I apply them in different, um, you know, different times. A different depends on the person how tight they are. I can come all the way into this area right above the ears. There's a really, just a, such an important area right in here. And then I can hold that and like stretch into here at a deeper level and work right beside the cheekbone. So I'm working down around the cheekbone and then joining up into that jaw tension. Isn't that one fun? Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Jaw tension, tension is huge for a lot of people. A lot of people have um, like teeth grinding at night and you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, grind, you know, people can grind their teeth away because they have jaw tension. Mm -hmm. I had a, a lady, I, once I freed up her jaw, it allowed all this stuff. She had a huge emotional release from the jaw one time. It's not the most common area that I get emotional releases, but People can, it, I call it like, it's like keeping a lid on things. You know, you're like holding, like if you got a tight jaw, it's like you kind of hold things in. And if you open up, you know, it can let things go. So I'm going to get you to open your jaw. Holding your emotions in. Yeah, oh yeah. Especially anger and especially just not speaking your mind. Mm -hmm. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Goes right with my toes. Oh, jeez. Yeah. 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 You don't want to go too hard into the jaw. It can be very painful. And I'm coming up into here. Just gonna... Yeah, that's sensitive as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can feel it on yourself. Just <gasps> just muscle in the body. Yeah. Just that kind of Yeah. So I'm coming, you can see I'm coming right almost to the ears and then back up and into the jaw. Whew. Breathe. I'm very deep breathing. I'm breathing. And then holding here. Uh -huh. 
Oh. Sorry, Brandon. That's my job. <laughs> Don't be sorry. What would I be doing with my life if I wasn't last time? <laughs> 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 Are you tired? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> Gardening. <laughs> Playing with the children. Yeah. <laughs> Go into banking. Yeah, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that to my first son. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, you think you can get some of that out from the oh, hands? Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. So what I try and do with this kind of tension is just get whatever out that's going to come away nice and easy. If it's going to come away, great, let's get rid of it. But then it'll come to a point where nothing else is moving, and if you keep working it, it's just going to make it sore. That's when you go, it's probably coming from the thumbs, or it's coming from the um, outer wristband. Okay, Because you've got these two bands coming out basically through here. Okay? Outer thumb, outer wrist. <clears throat> And they're going to create some of that jaw tension right up into into here. And that's so like I mean. here. Yeah, and and, and the, the outer thumb. thumb which is outer thumb is going to come more into the here. front of the ear, like into here, and the outer wrist is going to come more into just behind the ear. So tracing so two up. like this basically, yeah. And up and so end. doing a head massage can also be a great diagnosis for that. You get you get to that point, you go, okay, no more can I get out. Um, I got to do her hands. But you can also then, when you come in and massage the neck, and I can lift up her neck like this, and I can get right in behind, uh, beside the spine, and that gives me a good diagnosis um, for the big toe sacrum band as well. And then I can, and it feels tighter on the right side than it does on the left. So that's something that I immediately. Side, back through here, up right. through the butt, buttocks, yep. up through the spine, an inch away from the spine to either side, not next to it, it because it's, that's the big toe belly band that's close to... No, the big toe belly band is here. Here. But the big toe sacrum band runs beside the spine, but it, it, I wouldn't say it's an inch because on somebody who's thin and small, it's a lot closer than it is on a big person. So along the back of the spine yep. and then up into the two... Right, and especially right up into here, which is like kind of under the skull. Yeah. And then I can come in and also have a feel of the Achilles band. And again, I take away any tension. If it's going to come away nice and easy by me rubbing over it like this, great. And if it doesn't, I know I have to get the roots of that tension out. So the Achilles band is the one that runs next to yes. the sacrum band. That's right. Parallel. About an inch or so, yeah, or yeah. depending on the yeah. first body, but that's right. off to the side. Yeah. And then comes up into the other base of the skull. That's right. That's exactly right. So we've got tension coming from the hands coming into the side of the neck, from the mm -hmm. feet coming into the back, but actually also into the front. What we hardly ever work there. I don't really like to show people because yeah. it's a very sensitive area, but it comes right beside the thyroid. Um, that's the big toe belly band. And then right into that part by the collarbone. That's right. And then up. Yeah, and up into the throat. And you can actually very, very gently move the voice box around. But it has to, you know, it has to be very gentle because <laughs> it could hurt. What I'm going to do now is just do, do a bit of traction on her neck because her, mm -hmm. her neck feels really compressed. Mm -hmm. So how I do that is I put my hand under it like this, under her skull. Um, so it's like, sorry, it's under it like that under her skull and then this hand is coming in like this so these fingers are keeping away from her throat like this and then I get her to breathe in and I get my feet against the table. Do you want me to hold her feet? Yes please. I saw you do this on one person and you were like her neck just yeah. elongated and I'm like oh. Yeah. If you hold her feet that would be very helpful. How'd that feel? Good. Good. It looks kind of radical, but it actually feels really nice. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I use a towel on people's right, and I get right under the yeah the bone. That can be nice That's too. Cool. I've yeah. had that done to me. So we can do it again. Big breath. <sighs> I really feel it in my jaw. Yeah, I don't want to go too hard because your jaw's so tight. 
And after we've stretched the neck like that, then we can come in and massage all those muscles again. Let's see how much more they're gonna let go. And then come across the top of the shoulders with my thumbs. Boy, you've got some mitts on you. <laughs> so nice. My hands are tiny. People are always like, your hands are so strong. I'm like, yeah, for how tiny they are. <laughs> So we can then come in and just again feel anywhere else where we think she might be holding tension. We can actually gently, for people with hair, you can actually just gently pull their hair like this. It's just nice and it sort of stimulates the scalp a little bit as well. I've heard it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the access point to the, the penile gland through the head? Like if you were going to direct energy into the penile gland, I, I know this is here, but there's also a spot that comes from the back of the head to access that too. Like it's, it's like through the third eye, through the top of the head. You imagine where? those two think points coming, coming together. together. Okay, so now I could come in and do a, some assisted belly breathing. Okay. And this just helps what I call set the rhythm. So that late after I've done this, then I could go to either, any limb uh, and start working what I was showing you guys a bit yesterday. So when you first place your hand on somebody's belly, just be gentle, okay? And you make that connection, okay? It's kind of like, hi, I'm here and I come with good, <laughs> good intent. We're not doing CPR, you know, not like nothing too fast. Okay, so nice and slow and nurturing, and just bring that that care and love from your, your into your hand. Using the heel of your hand, using the, the heel. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like we can project, you know, a lot of care. This, this is a nice. Oh, this is a lot of energy. It is a lot of energy, you can, and it's care. It's a caring energy that you can put through there. So, and it's just connect. So it's just connecting with her. And then gradually starting to feel, how is her breath? Is it kind of shallow into here or is it deep into here? And then I can start to gradually work with the breath that she's got. Just very gently. Are you right around the belly button? Mm -hmm. Just feeling wherever there's any kind of resistance to a deeper breath. Then I'll let her breathe in again. And I'm just gonna gradually increase the pressure that I'm using by maybe 10 or 15% each time. And I never, if I ever feel her resisting, then I'm going too fast or too hard. So she should basically just be able to kind of relax into that. Never, you don't want anybody ever tightening up against you. If you are, you're not really working with their rhythm. Or they're holding. Or they're holding, yeah, in which case you're kind of going, okay. <laughs> the other thing I call this is getting the noise out of people. Because <laughs> once people do let go, they, there's just an involuntary noise. Sometimes people laugh, sometimes people... <laughs> <laughs> and they could be laughing and then crying and because it, it, this is connecting to that subconscious that I was talking well, about. Well, it's also activating the vagus nerve, mm -hmm. which is right behind the, the navel. Yep. <laughs> and they can cough. <coughs> Sometimes people even cough up phlegm smokers in particular going to start like cleaning their lungs out well i'm letting go of all those things i wanted to say but couldn't yeah good yeah it's like tingly it feels great yeah yeah i can yeah
it really gets the whole blood supply and everything going. <laughs> yeah, some stored tension in there. Yeah, and then I'm going to slightly come a little bit lower, and I'm coming in from this angle. So I'm pushing it uh, in, but up. So I can feel she's holding on to something right there. <laughs> Access that through her awareness. <laughs> well, I chronically have to go to the bathroom because I drink so much liquid, so that's always part of the part mm -hmm. of the problem. All right. Yeah. Well, you let me know if you need to go. Okay. Yeah. I just went not that long ago, so hopefully. But. saying sorry like it is what it is oh, okay. i don't I'm you guys are sorry for to, my body pretty close to canada where every sentence starts oh, no. with sorry i love yeah. my body i know <laughs> what's well, right canadian politicians say that, yeah. i'm sorry but i'm yeah. not sorry yeah and that was like really cool in canada yeah i'm not sorry it's just it's silly i've literally gone through an entire oh i wasn't training. listening anyway i just yeah. it's just all noise coming out i don't know <laughs> I do though. No, I mean I give a shit, yeah. but I don't really care about. It. I know you're but not I sorry. Give a shit. Like that's such a ridiculous thing to say. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the self censorship again. Yeah. It's the po exactly. it's that politeness. That's what I was yeah. telling you. I had to overcome from England. You know. <laughs> Sometimes in between, I just let her have a couple of breaths just to, to re, you know. And there'll come a point where nothing, again, nothing else releases. Where it just feels like, okay, I'm just pushing up against tight abdominal tension. Then that's our signal then to either go to a toe or a finger. In which case, you know. But this is a great way just to get a person started because then they've gotten into just the rhythm of the breathing the non-judgmental frame of mind because most people are going to be judge, judging themselves as to what noises are they going to make and oh that's weird that's not weird that's this that's i shouldn't i'm sorry <laughs> you know <laughs> it's all it's all self-judgment you know whereas we want the person just to kind of it's really just i'm shocked at how much tension i really do have in there yeah yeah it's like yeah wow what the hell well mm. <laughs> there might be some pee, so that was a little bit of holding. Yeah. Okay. So I don't want to go too hard because she's got to pee. <laughs> Yeah. Just it's a brand new go table go too. Yes. Yeah. 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 I, 